everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today I'm presenting a Gabor style in a brand new color. The style is called Instinct and the color is Vanilla Mist, which is G17+. Plus. There are loads of details in this video. Even if you're not interested in the style, you'll probably want to hear all about this new color coming up. You can find it at Wig Studio One. I'll attach the link below. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, be sure to reach out to support at wigstudioone.com or from any product page on the website, you can scroll down, hit the help button to have the option to be connected with a live chat. Gabor's Instinct is a short, heavily layered shag cut with lots of wavy texture to it. It's just an open cap very affordable and easy to wear. Now, I happen to have this one in the petite average size. There's also one available in the average large size. So you have two sizes to choose from. If this is your cup of tea, you also have three new colors available on this style as well. One of those new colors I am wearing, which is the G17 Plus Vanilla Mist. The other two colors that were released was G2 Plus, which is a really dimensional dark brown blackish color. And then you have the G31 Plus, which is Mango Mist. I can't wait to try that one. That's a really dimensional, pretty red color. So be sure to check out these brand new colors. It's available on 14 Gabor styles. Now, typically you will see this, these additions into the styles that already offer the mist colors. So the mist colors are typically very heavily highlighted, but they are not rooted. So let's go right into this vanilla mist. So vanilla mist on camera, I'm quite sure it's gonna come across gray. It's because of this color combination, but there really is no gray in it. Although it would be an amazing transitional color if you were looking to go gray or just thinking about it, or you just want something soft and sort of a covert color uh, to work your way towards grays. One thing about these mist colors in the 14 styles that uh, these are available on, they have lots of grays already. I think I counted four or five different variable gray options in all of those styles, so be sure to check them out. Now this G17 Plus is a light to medium ash, cool ash blonde. Just absolutely devoid of any warmth at all. So that very, very cool ash blonde. And then they went in and they heavily highlighted this with a toned white. So it looks like you have lots of white highlights and it was sort of toned in by a violet toner. There's no violet in it, but that's just, again, it makes it sort of just glisten. It almost looks like a pearl color. But just know that it's very light, it's very cool, and although there's no gray in it, that toned white really does kind of give it away as a nice transitional gray shade. So let's talk about this style instinct. Now, like I said, I am wearing the petite design. It also comes in an average large. I can tell you that with a 21 and a quarter inch circumference, it fits me beautifully without making any adjustments. This is the petite average size. Um, I love it when I get a good fitting cap, makes it so easy to wear and so super comfortable. So it, it is petite. It's petite all the way around, ear to ear and front to back. There's no baggy cap at all on this wig and it feels like it's fitting me just like a glove. And I would suggest that if you are a 22 or higher that you would go for probably that average large. Running down the specs really quick on this style, and this these specs really make this super wearable as well. So you have about a 3.75 inch bang. That bang has a little bit of curl to it. So it comes out to the cap and it kind of makes a little bit of curl down. That makes it super easy to wear. It's not in my eyes and I'm pretty short from hairline to my um, my brow line there. So it's just really nice. It's a wispy texture, very heav heavily texturized there. 
There's a three and a half crown. That's just enough to give a little bit of profile at the back. And then that tapers down into a 2.75 nape. Now on that 2.75 nape, it really does seem to be very ample uh, for nice coverage. Kind of coils around the ear very nicely and extends beyond the natural hairline. It stays put, it moves very naturally. And then there's lots of layering here on the sides. This is a completely open cap and it weighs just over three ounces. So this texture is very wavy and impressionable. This really reminds me of when I used to, I used to get some multiple color processes done at the salon and I would spend hours in there. And I would see ladies come and go for their weekly, uh, shampoo and things, but a lot of times they would come in and um, I would just see the stylist teasing their hair all the way around, all around their head, teasing the hair. Then they would use a light curling iron to create a little bit, just little curls everywhere. And then they would take, um, you know, a wire comb and just sort of pick and separate those curls. And they would end up, and then they would use all this spray, you know. It was a set. They come in and they had a wash and a, and a styling and a set so that um, maybe they didn't have to come but once a week to the stylist. But this is what that reminds me of. I feel like this is a very mature style. It isn't personally something I would enjoy wearing, but I know so many of you out there would really enjoy a very comfortable, easy to wear style like this. So all of the wavy texture here just gives it a really nice set look. There's no movement to speak of, but I do love how impressionable it is. You can just rake your fingers through to, to bring out the texture and mold and shape it according to your tastes and preferences. So when you get this style right out of the box, you definitely want to get in there and swirl around with your fingers to wake it up. There's a lot of permatease throughout this cap. Um, there's probably not one square inch of this cap that doesn't have that thick pillowy permatease bottom on it. Um, now that's on purpose because it, it delivers a nice hold to this style. I can't imagine that you would have to do anything to this all day long. It would just stay set. So the permatease really is functional in a wig style like this, plus it helps to cover up the wefts. You might be able to see down into a little nesty permatease there, um, but for the most part, those fibers are kind of sprung up out of that bed of permatease to where it really isn't an obvious thing when you're looking at it. A very comfortable cap by Gabor on this Instinct. This is in the petite average size. It's a completely open cap. They always do a nice job with a beautiful velvet piece right there in front. It makes it very comfortable against the skin. They have a, usually a hidden weft right there at the front also, just a brush of fiber to help obscure that wig line. Then you've got your open wefts, top, sides, and back. This one features an open ear tab, nice sturdy stays, lots of fiber spliced in for good coverage, an extended open nape with Velcro style adjusters. Again, I did not have to use these adjusters for a petite average circumference. It the style is right out of the box. Um, it's just basically a shake and go style. In fact, if you wanted to style it, spike it up, move this hair around, it should probably stay for you without using any kind of product. So let's try with glasses. There's very little hair fiber right there above the ear tab. This, the glasses fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab very securely.
So I'm just gonna get my fingers in there and sort of manipulate these layers around just to give you some ideas and inspiration on how to style these short textured pixie shed cuts like this. And thank you so much for joining me today for a look at a Gabor style called Instinct in the new color Vanilla Mist G17+. Plus. Check it out at Wig Studio One. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.